When you are going to move an object with Move It mod, this is the normal movement speed. If you hold down the control button, look how much slower it moves. This will help you line up objects like these when you're trying to get them into a precise match. Now they fit together nice and snug. This also works when you are rotating an object. Hold down control, it slows the rotation and it works for multiple objects as well. If you move them all together, hold down control, it slows it down. Or if you rotate them all together, hold down control, it slows them down. Using the Alt key on your keyboard is basically a push to toggle for this snapping button down here. So if you have an object and you're trying to move it, this is the normal movement. If you hold down Alt while you're moving it, it snaps it. I find this especially useful for when you're rotating an object. This is your normal rotation. If you hold down the Alt button, it snaps it to 45 degrees and it makes lining up items a heck of a lot easier. Same as the control button, it also works for moving multiple items and rotating multiple items. Felis Cat says no. You may already know about this slope objects tool here with move it, but did you know that it works on a like point to point basis? So when you take, let's say these nodes here, so we have these five nodes selected and we ask it to slope them, it will do so. It looks, you know, pretty good. It calculates from this height down to this height and slopes them in between. However, if we were to take nodes that go back on themselves like this and they're not in a straight line, it's still going to calculate it on the two points. So I'm going to say pr from this point to this point, but like not following the road, it's just going to go from here to here and it won't give you the desired results. So if you watch, it, uh, you know, it, it does that. Sticking with the slope objects tool in move it. If you have a node like this one that only has two segments. So it has one segment here, one segment here, meaning it's not a dead end like this node, which only has the one segment or an actual intersection like this node, which has the three segments. So it must have exactly two segments. If you highlight that node and then go to your slope objects, hold alt and press slope objects it will put itself perfectly between the two nodes that are on either end of it. If you have a building that's on fire, like our baseball diamond here, you can select it with move it, go up to these three dots and press reset objects. And it will put out the fire. This works with abandoned and destroyed buildings too. We don't need you fire guys. Do you want more City Skylines content? Be sure to subscribe to the channel now. Do you want to know three more advanced tips about Move It Mod? Once the video's up, I'll put it on the end screen right here. Until then, tell me in the comments which video YouTube is recommending you. I want to know. Take care, guys. I will catch you next time.